May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and to celebrate, we want to learn more about how a whole new generation of North American chefs are approaching traditional dishes with a contemporary flair. Here with her take on neo-Chinese cuisine is Chef Eva Chim. Yay! Thanks for having me. Welcome back, Eva. Thanks for having me. Uh, this spread looks incredible and we can't wait to dive in. But first, tell us, what is neo-Chinese cuisine? So, you know, neo-Chinese cuisine basically all started in the past couple of years when all of these amazing Canadian, American, European-born Chinese chefs who come back from the travels are reinventing Chinese cuisine, whether it's taking off nostalgia, memories, all our essentials from traveling, everything we've learned from European kitchens. We are trying to show the future and the progression of what Chinese cuisine could be. Love it. Love it. Okay, Eva, let's get started. Uh, this looks so delicious. Here we have Hong Kong Toast Bites. What makes this so unique? So first of all, this started from Hong Kong Cafe, which is a product of British colonization. Basically, you take two pieces of uh, white bread and you sandwich it either with coconut jam, with peanut butter, or with condensed milk, and then you deep fry it in a egg and oh uh, custard God. batter. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, so this is gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna try, can we try? Are we allowed to? Absolutely. Can we go in? Yeah, please that take a piece. That is beautiful. Can I just like, I'm going right in. Yeah. I'm going right in. Underneath is a oolong tea condensed mm. milk. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, it's sweet, so it's beautiful. Mm. These are actually have condensed, uh, tea infused condensed milk in them. So yes. can you talk about that? Oh my gosh. So you take a little bit of evaporated milk and condensed milk, which is, surprise, the number one dairy product we use. Mm -hmm. And then we steep it with high quality Chinese black oolong tea. And oh. what I want to do is impart that traditionalism back into something that's not traditional. It's so good. I mean, this is, I love that we started here. We started with dessert, <laughs> basically, right? Yeah. yeah, you can't go back to any other type of French toast once you have it no. deep fried. Okay, so let's talk about the next dish. It's your turnip mochi cake. I haven't had mochi with turnip. I don't know, is it sweet? Is it savory? What is it like? Most of the time you hear mochi, it's sweet, but mm -hmm. in this instance, it's savory. This dish is a play on dim sum classic. We've all had pan fried turnip cake and we've all had this football shaped fritter called ham mm -hmm. And I wanted to marry it together to have that same chewy texture. And so it's a turnip cake with a little the glutinous rice flour in it. Okay. So it's sticky, it's salty, and you dip in a little bit of a garlic chili sauce. Is there mochi in it? There's mochi in okay. it. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going with both. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going in. Yes. Okay. That's how you oh have it. God. Oh my gosh. Don't judge. Don't judge oh, my wow. use. How is it? It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Just, just, just enough soft mm. and chewy at the same time. That's the beauty of mochi. I wow. love this. Same. This is uh, 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 so good. This is good because you are not very um, adventurous. And I love this. This you, is incredible. Yeah, this is amazing. amazing. Yeah. So wow. good. Okay, so next up, you've brought us a shrimp wonton toast. Yeah. So this is this this is the product of the silly antics between me and my father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we go out for dim sum, he really likes having fried shrimp toast, which is a toast uh, filled with shrimp mousse and encased in sesame seeds. I really like deep fried shrimp wontons, but we can never finish it on our own. So one day at home, we married two ideas together. So in the bottom, there's toast, and then you see the shrimp mousse and sesame seeds. Okay. And then we're going to cut through the crunch of the wonton skin. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. It was good. Okay. Wow. Okay, so you want us to put drizzle a little bit of lemon on this first, correct? Yeah, a little bit of lemon. It gives it a freshness. Pick okay. it up with the lettuce, and it there should be this fresh crunch together this is with so a little cute. bit of carbs. Oh, hi. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I can hear your crunch too. <laughs> I love an auditory. It's like an ASMR yes. sensual experience. I think this is beautiful. It's bright. It's crunchy. It's like, uh, would you have this for any time of day? Lunch? Yeah, it could be an afternoon snack. It could be uh, a morning breakfast, honestly, with fried eggs. I've still got the heat kicking from the mochi. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit that. It's so it's good. your mouth so a bit. How do you ensure that the crunch that we have, at, do we get that crunch at home? Do we fry them? Do we bake them? What do we do? It's a little bit of both. So you do deep fry uh, in a shallow pan the wonton skins Side, and then after that, you flip it and you finish it in the oven. Okay. So you so have a little bit of both. You can That's also right. do this in an air fryer at home. All right. All right, well, let's get to the last one. Last but not least, the epic burger, the Char Siu Smash Burger. Uh, what makes this so special? So this is two common folk food um, blended together. One is from North American concept of burger, which is mm -hmm. something I grew up with. It's so easy. It's something that a student would pick up on the side of the street, uh, you know, a working mom. 
And in Hong Kong, it is a bowl of sorrowful cha siu Sorrowful, rice. sorry, can you stop for a second? Can you talk about the word <laughs> sorrowful so, eat. rice? <laughs> Sad rice. It's from a movie. There's a scene where basically this guy's eating this bowl of rice while crying and okay. thinking about his life. But it's just such a comforting food. It brings tears to our to us. It makes us think of mm. a nostalgia mm. and growing up in Hong Kong. And I wanted to marry that. And the key is having some ginger scallion mm. in the sweet potato bun, some pickles, and a cha siu chicken sweet patty. Sweet potato bun is great. Right? It's yeah. sweet, it's mm -hmm. lovely, it's cozy. Yeah. I absolutely love this whole blend. That's the that's the key about neo Chinese cuisine. You know? Like, does anyone ever say, like, no, 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 you don't mess with the classics, or is everybody on board with the whole, like, meshing? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is still something very new, so we're all just exploring. You know, that's why we're trying to come up with this new term, neo-Chinese cuisine, which is where we are bringing in the new, new influence with old school influence altogether. And that's the future of Chinese food. Well, it's a beautiful Amazing. future. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.